Lesson 7.3c, Converting Units by Using Conversion Factors. We can use ratios and proportions to convert both customary and metric units. We learned in the last video, video 7.3b, that we can use a table to convert one unit to another within a measurement system. We can also convert measurements by using a conversion factor. A conversion factor is a ratio that compares two equivalent measurements. So to convert from quarts to cups, our conversion factor is 4 to 1. We have 4 cups is in 1 quart. 1 quart is equal to 4 cups. We go from quarts to cups. See how the from is the denominator and the to is the numerator? We're going from quarts to cups. We have a conversion factor of 4 to 1. Bob needs 3 quarts of juice but can only find pint containers for sale. How many pints does he need? So we think. First, find the conversion factor for quarts to pints and write it as a ratio. If we look on this chart, and I have a copy of this chart you can print for yourself in my Joanne School Facebook page in the Charts Grids Tables album. We're going to go from a quart to two pints. So we have from a quart to pints, we have two pints to one quart. And we're going to multiply the given measurement, the three quarts, by the conversion factor. So we've got 2 over 1 times 3. And 2 over 1 is 2 whole, isn't it? So we have 2 times 3. That's going to be 6 pints. So Bob needs to buy 6 pints of juice to have 3 quarts. And we can do this by canceling out the common unit. I'll show you how. When we multiply the given measurement by the conversion factor, we can cancel the common unit to multiply faster. We had two pints over one quart. We're multiplying it by three quarts. We have, we cross out the quart here, we cross off the quart here, and we have two pints times three, which is six pints. Sam is 147 centimeters tall. What is his height in meters? We can see on our chart that 100 centimeters is 1 meter. And if he's 147, he's not 2 meters. That would be 200 centimeters, wouldn't it? So we know it's 1 meter and something. We learned in 5th grade math, chapter 10, that metric conversions involve a power of 10. And the value of each place is 10 times greater than the value to its right. This means we can convert measures by multiplying or dividing by a power of 10. We have 147 divided by 10 to the second power. We're going from centimeters to meters. That's 1 power of 10, 2 powers of 10. That means we're going to have 2 jumps left with our decimal. For 147, the decimal is back here. We're going to go 2 jumps left, 1, 2. When we divide, we're going in that direction to the left. We know that Sam is 1 and 47 hundredths meters tall, 1.47 meters tall. Now, if you don't remember that lesson or you need a review, it's going to be linked in this description. A fire truck weighs 17 tons. How much does it weigh in pounds? We can see on this table that 2,000 pounds are in one ton. So our conversion factor to go from tons Two pounds is 2,000 to one ton. We cancel the common unit. We're multiplying it by the 17. We cancel tons and tons, and we end up 2,000 times 17. We can do a little math on the side. 2,000 times 17 is 34,000. So we know it's 34,000 pounds. And if you've been watching my videos all along since you know, even fourth grade math, there's 2.3 where we learned how we can do this quickly. We multiply 2 times 17, or 17 times 2, and we get 34, and we have 1, 2, 3 zeros, 
We just add those three zeros on the back and we have 34,000. That's a very helpful way to quickly do multiplication that involves zeros. You'll go quicker on a math test and have more time for other problems. And that video will be linked in the description also if you want to watch it quickly. So we're going to move on to 7.4, which is split into three parts, and it's converting between measurement systems. So we're going to go from customary to metric or metric to customary. I hope you have a nice day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.